Hey guys, so today we have got a video that I haven't filmed in a while. We are doing another K-pop catch-up video because I swear the amount of comebacks that have dropped over the past few days, let alone weeks, is ridiculous and you guys have been asking for a lot of um, reactions so I thought I'd throw together a quick little K-pop catch-up video. I could probably do about two or three of these in one go but we're just doing one today. So I'll do a couple more in the future but yes, today we are going to be reacting to Black Swan, Mamamoo, Alexa, KDA, and DKB. When I tell you, I had a list of about 20 songs that I could have reacted to, and I literally just had to like close my eyes and point. It, it really got that bad. But before we start the video, I would just like to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So for those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online community filled with thousands of lessons done by different professors and teachers on probably every single topic that you can imagine. I've been using it quite a bit recently and I did two classes recently, one on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and one on how to use Adobe Photoshop because um, that's what I used to edit and I've been really wanting to up my game with like my thumbnails and my videos and I found it super helpful so I'm kind of hoping I can uh, flex those skills on you guys soon. <laughs> the website is super clean and super easy to use. Sometimes with websites where you're doing lessons stuff can get confusing but it's so simple and within the lessons themselves it's actually got a contents page so you can find exactly what section of the topic you need to focus on yourselves instead of having to watch the whole thing or toggle through to find what you want. It's all right there, right in front of you from the get-go so you can just click on what you want and you're good. Skillshare is also super super affordable with a yearly subscription coming to you under $10 a month for that much. What? But I know that, you know, times are tough, we're in a lockdown, so the first 1,000 people to go and click the link in the description and the pinned comment will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, which, for what it is, is crazy, so please do go click the link, it'll help me out a ton, and we'll also help you out a ton. We're in lockdown, what better time to learn some skills? But yeah, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and Liz. Let's move on. <laughs> so, I don't know who to start with. Should I just go in order of the tabs that I've got? Okay, we'll do that. So we'll start off with Black Swan. So, for those of you who don't know, Black Swan have been a pretty uh, talked about group at the moment. They are, I believe, five member group. I don't know under what agency they are. So the reason they are so talked about, or one of their main points, is that they have a member who is Senegalese. Is that how I say it? I'm sorry. And I've tried to keep my eyes shut. I pretend I do not see it about this comeback because I've been wanting to react to it so badly. And now we've got the time to do it and I'm very happy about that. Um, I've had quite a bit about the group. Some people say that the music is kind of crap but the girls are great. Um, the album's called uh, Goodnight Rania, Goodbye Rania, which is an interesting choice. But yeah, okay, Black Swan tonight. Let's go. 2.5 mil, you know, in a couple weeks. That's crazy for a rookie group. Let's go. Mmm, okay. Bad bitch anthem. I'm ready for it. Ooh. Whoa, she looks so much like Kim Lip from Luna. <gasps> wow. They're fine ass women. What if this is she? Wow! The song does have a very Rania vibe, I can't lie. This is pretty good quality. Wow, they are stunning. Okay, I think she's pretty fine so far. She looks so much like Kim Lip. It definitely has very second gen sexy vibes, I can't even lie. Wow! Is her name Fatu? Fatu? Is that is it? I hope she says more than English lines, like. Wow! Wow! She cannot be Korean, can she? Please tell me she's got some lines other than English lines. Come on. We don't want an Alex part two. Ugh. I'll be your boy. Give the girl some lines! This one doesn't seem bad, like at all. Go! Women, am I right? 
They are very good looking girls. They're very good looking girls. I can say this with my chest. Wow, the contacts on all the girls are so stunning. Woo! Come on, Blue Tide! Wow, her voice is incredible. I feel like they're treating her very much like a feature though. I don't like that very much. She doesn't come across as a member, she seems like a feature. Which I do not like. She's crazy in the middle, go off! They are pretty equal screen time though, you know. Okay, 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 I see you. <laughs> okay, so looking at that MV on its own, I don't really know what people are talking about when they say the quality is whack because the song was pretty good. It sounded very second gen, maybe a little bit, a little bit generic, but that's just pop music, you know, pop music in general tends to sound a bit generic. I think it was really good though. I think the members sounded insane. They looked incredible. The line distribution was a little bit, mm, but it was fine. The screen time was equal. I think that was really good, you know? It just screamed second gen, which I love. You know me, I'm a little second gen beach. I think all the members were incredible. Fatu, is that her name? I hope I'm saying it right, oh my God. Um, her low tone, I did not see coming, but I think they all looked, sounded, danced, Incredible, I really like that. I was expecting it to be like kind of whack because that's what people were making it sound like But I like that but maybe it's just the other songs on the EP or something. I don't know. I really really enjoyed that <laughs> Okay, so next we have got Mamamoo with Dinga and I didn't even realize Mamamoo were having like a pre comeback comeback going on And then all of a sudden this song was everywhere and I was like ah <laughs> I pretend I do not see it. This looks like it's gonna go down the retro neon vibe and you know me I'm here for that, so let's just jump straight in. Okie dokie, let's go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, I did see a little bit of this song. A little bit, a little bit. <gasps> oh, outfits, fire, vibes, immaculate. Mmm, mmm. Sona really is that bitch, huh? Oh, I can't feel my feet. <laughs> what is this? This has so oh come on with the fucking queen. Um, this has Mama Moo vibes all over. <gasps> you, you bicycle, you bicycle, bitch. Her hair with the two pigtails looks so good. Wow, Moongyo with really short hair. <gasps> I like this a lot. It has, this seems, this is so Mamamoo. They're just the cutest girls alive, I swear. <gasps> Those outfits! I love Pwasa's hair with like that, with the highlights. Sola is really just. Do you know what I love so much? I. Moongyo, that, that's what I love. Come with the Burberry, let's go! Yo, this is so good. Their outfits are always so fire. Like their aesthetics, always. I could never wear that though. Like imagine me wearing that. I'd look like a bird. They're just so confident and like, wow. Is it all my sweet spots? Little house dance friend, I see you! 
Ay. Ay. That's such a killing part. Oh my god, you neck those shots. Oh, Ian is just, I'm so in love with Ian. Do you know what? I'm so glad that Ian and Moonbyul got a dance break together. Ian's hair with like the blonde, I love that trend at the moment. Pasta looks so good in that mustard yellow as well. These outfits are so immaculate! Yes! Bro! Freaking love Mamma Moo man. Whoa, this outfit. Oh, ASMR, that sounds really nice. Jeez! Oh, bitch really said you are the imposter! It's you! Wow! Okay, so I freaking loved that. We'll start off with the song, Retro Vibes. I loved it. Mama Moo's songs are always so groovy and funky, which I love anyway. You guys know Mama Moo vocal legend sounded so good. One thing I always love about Mama Moo is how smooth it's fl uh, like flicks from rapping to singing. It's just always so like smooth, like butter, their vocals, their harmonies, their everything is always just perfection. But this was so good that it had that like house dance break in the middle. I. <laughs> I loved it, I loved it. And then the the little like killing part right after the dance break. This song just hit every sweet spot of mine and is a vibe. And this is going straight into my playlist. They sounded amazing. Then the MV, oh, you know how I feel about a neon aesthetic. They had the neon aesthetic, they had the retro vibes, those outfits. The like um, Adidas Nike outfits were perfection. I love Hwasa's hair with the highlights. I love Huyin's hair with the highlights. I Moonbeal with short hair is something I never knew I needed in my life. I'm looking at Hwasa with her hair up with like the baby hairs with the glitter in them. That's stunning. Sola is just that bitch. Can confirm. Mama Moo is a group full of it girls. I said it, I said it, I said it. But the overall just vibe, the aesthetic, the feeling of the MV I loved was so pretty. So, so pretty. And I perfection I loved it I didn't I knew I was gonna like it but I didn't realize I was gonna like it this much so I'm a little bit like ooh, ooh, ooh. but yeah I really like that okay so next we have got Alexa with her comeback revolution and I really really wanted to do a solo video to this because I love Alexa and she deserves all the love in the world but um yeah this is her like main title track I do believe she had several pre-releases um my favorite was Villain bro I listened to Villain on the daily I, uh, it really is that song so I'm so interested to see what revolution is like and you know what I'm looking forward to the most I love Alexa she's an incredible dancer incredible vocalist she's a massive inspiration like absolutely incredible but her label ZB label their cinematography obviously they're like a visual like graphics visuals all that kind of stuff company so the MVs are incredible and her whole storyline is just wow so I'm so excited to see the next part of this storyline that she's got going on from bomb do or die villain that, that whole storyline she's got going on I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out so I'm so excited for this because the trailer for this comeback was a movie a movie so let's go okay alexa revolution ah, i'm excited let's go i've had nothing from this nothing no no teasers or ah! oh my god she's so hot so i just have to say first I've Oh my god! Whoa, okay. Do you know what I love? Alexa's vibe and choreographies are almost. Boy, you can that back! Sorry. Like, they're so intense. She's incredible. The blue on her. The vocals, the instrumental. There's a lot more Korean in this song as well. Normally she has so much English integrated in. Ah! 
I'm so whipped for her. I. I got, oh, oh. Imagine being able to sing and rap that well. I. Look at this! I could watch her dance all day. I actually followed her back in the good old Instagram days when she did her covers. I love her voice in this chorus. This this like vibe this suits her voice so much. No! Look at her! Keeping up with those male dancers. Let's freaking go! Bitch! Wow. She's so hot. Like she is so hot. It's like Star Wars, like it's literally Star Wars level shit. The colour grading that I mentioned, the colour grading. I'm numb. My head's just gone numb, you know, I'm just... dance crew again oh. this song suits her voice the best like the best out of all of her songs where's that creepy little guy from the last MV right where you at where you at bro JYP as it is, a K-pop video is probably gonna be JYP. Oh shit, it is! <laughs> oh, I'm so interested in the behind the scenes of this. Cause one hit her dead on and I was like, that is good at that one, yeah. I was like, beach. Wow. Yeah, I'm so curious about the behind the scenes of this cause that was a movie. Oh, is that my cosmic girl? <gasps> wow. Seeing the behind the scenes of this. Oh my god, the effort. <gasps> you know it's a bad bitch MV when you have credits at the end of it. I. Oh, wow. Oh my god! Okay, so mayhaps I um, lost my cool a little bit during that one. <laughs> and here's why! So I'll start off with the song. That is my favourite Alexa song so far. I, but, I mean, I love Villain. To be fair, my favourite was always Bomb. Like, I thought Bomb was such a bomb debut. I, I love all of her music as well. But when Villain came out, I was like, okay, maybe this? But this, Revolution, her best song. I won't take any other answer. I just won't. I just won't. It suited her voice so much. It was so epic. The instrumental was crazy. I, I felt like I was in a movie watching it. And I she was in a bloody movie. That camera, that video quality was insane. But I loved that song so much. It was just perfection. Perfection. Then the MV. I I don't think I have the words to like say how insane this MV was, and I think anybody can agree, whether you're a fan or not, how insane this music video was. It, it wasn't even a music video, it was a goddamn movie. The colour grading was phenomenal, all the sets, the effects, the storyline, just, I, wow. Wow, wow, and then they added some fire in at the end. You know, fire just makes everything a little bit better. It's like that little seasoning to make it go like, oof, you know. Perfection. But you know what I want to see? I want to see the full choreography because I said during the reaction I can watch Alex dance all day. I've actually followed her since the Instagram days when she did Rising Stars. Like I've followed her for a while and seeing her kill it as Alexa is ridiculous. But I, I could just sit and watch her dance all day. She's phenomenal and I want to see this choreography because girl broke her back more times than I've had hot dinners. And I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, everything about this was insane. She looked stunning. I love the blue hair on her. She, oh, just queen shit, queen shit. A thousand percent. 
thousand percent. Okay, up next we have got another video that I did start watching and then I was like, oh, we should probably react to this. And this is KDA with more. Now, I love KDA. I loved pop stars. I loved The Baddest. The Baddest oh, is such a freaking banger. But they came out, they did come out with their full album and they released the MV for their song More, which features Madison Beer. Soyeon and Neon from G Idol, Lexi Lu, uh, Jared Burns. But I love watching KDA videos because you know, obviously, it's got that League of Legends aspect. That might be a little bit league, so I enjoy watching these. <laughs> but yeah, I did start listening to the song, and of course, it's bomb. So let's just jump straight in because I love watching these videos. My feet have gone numb. Okay, KDA more. Let's go. Bad, oh, just the, the vibes are just so good. It's such a satisfying, like, yes! oh my God! what is in the air? Why are all these songs so good? Soyon is. Uh, Look at this! You know what, the, the start, do you find it crazy that this video looks so, like, real? Perfection. Madison Bayer is incredible. Neon! This song is so good! <laughs> I'm so excited for the full album. I also love seeing what the choreographies look like because obviously the choreographers, they can't have them like flick their hair and stuff too much because it's all um, CGI. <gasps> oh, see, that's so cool. G, Talia and I were all talking about how we really want to go to one of the League of Legends like um, performances where they all perform the stuff live because it's so cool. Oh. Whoever this is, her voice is incredible. Do you know KDA has helped me find so many sick vocalists? But Madison Beer, bro. Bro. That woman. I think KDA really helped people realise what a powerhouse Mion is as well. Like, she's incredible. My inner gamer girl is having like a moment. <laughs> I really love this song! Of course, the music video is incredible. Especially when you realise it's a video game. Like, it's literally, none of this is real, it's all CGI. Like, isn't that crazy? There hasn't been a single KDA song that I haven't liked either. Lexi. Chinese in there too, you know. <gasps> this, oh my god, this music video is incredible! Oh my god! I'm so... What is in the air today? Why are all these songs so freaking bomb? I actually uh, recently started playing League again. Maybe I should I should start playing more so I'm actually good at it so I don't feel bad listening to these songs. <laughs> that was phenomenal. I, I genuinely don't know what is going on and why everybody is releasing such insane music. But 
I love that so much. The song was so good. The, their vocals, like every time they pick a group together, it always comes together so well. I love Madison Beer's voice. I don't really listen to her music, like her Western music, but every time she's in a KDA song, she eats it up. Soyon Wee Dumbin New, best rapper of third gen. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's the tweet. Mion, I think KDA have helped people realize how incredible she is of a vocalist, because people I feel like kind of overlook her in G Idol, because she is a little more like, a little bit like, quieter than the other members. And then you obviously in G Idol have so many different tones, like you got Uki and Mini who have such distinctive voices. I feel like lots of people tend to overlook Mion, but in KDA she shines so much and I love it. Lexi, she's, her vocals are so good. I was not expecting there to be a Chinese mix in there. Obviously with the KDA songs there's always a Korean mix in there, but I was not expecting there to be Chinese too. Also, um, Jaira, Jaira, I don't know how to say her name. Her voice is so, bomb like every time like kda songs just go off and i love the the style of the songs and the genre that they have gone for i think really suits a the video game b pop music in general it is so appealing to so many people but also suits the badass vibes of league you know i like i feel like a bad bitch I was, if i was listening to this while playing league you know well i'm doing that bottom lane support i'd feel like a bad bitch <laughs> I suck at League, honestly. But the choreography, I remember when um, Pop Stars came out and I was like, bro, this choreography, and I saw behind the scenes of it, and obviously they have to do the choreography in a certain way because there are some moves you can't get CGI characters to do, so they have to choreograph it specially. So it's just crazy seeing the choreography too. I, which is, wow, I, I can't, I need to move on because my, I can't wrap my head around that. That was incredible, that was crazy, that was fire. Okay, so the last song that we're going to be reacting to is one that you guys have been spamming me about and I don't think I could not react to this because otherwise you guys would really come for me. And that's a group called DKB with a song called Work Hard. And um, I've wanted to react to DKB for a long time. It's actually on a list of things that I want to show my friends because I hear a lot about them. So I've been trying to like stay away so that I could be fully surprised. However, I did hear this song. I have heard this song because my friends covered it. Go check out that cover, it's so sick. Um, ODC, I'll leave it in the link below because they're incredible, I love them to pieces. And they covered this the day after it came out, so please go give them all the love. But this is DKB's song, Work Hard. I've only heard Sorry Mama, and I really, really like this song. I can say that for a fact because I've heard it already, but I'm looking forward to hearing it properly with the visuals and the choreography done by them. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, DKB, work hard. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, they're from Brave Entertainment. The choreography for this is really good. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've never really. Oh, this choreography is so good. I love aesthetics like this. It's got real lo-fi hip-hop vibes and it's just really easy to listen to. But I'm looking forward to the visuals of it. I'm liking it so far. What? Uh, what? Sorry, that really... Uh. They are some very pretty boys, but why... What? I was gonna make a camera joke, but I just can't execute it right. He's pretty, boy! Where your legs come from? There you go. Such a catch. This crop is so good. It's so good! It's like, makes you smile. It's something that makes you smile. Yeah, I've never looked at them before. They are a lot of very good looking boys. Can confirm. They're very cute. This sounds like a song I've had on before my streams in the starting scene page. Like, I wish this was copyright free. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The colour scheme of this is so satisfying as well. Like, everything goes together so well. Like kind of pastel vibes. Switch. Who does you remind me of? Reminds me of Pio from Block B, and also Chan from Ace. He's so cute. Reminds me of Sunday from the Boys. This is so satisfying. I love choreographies where there's a person in the middle and they all dance around him. It's just so satisfying to watch. Twice did it. 
Then doing it so damn good. I really like the rapper's voice. Oh, I like this bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. I bet he's five foot seven. <laughs> this croak is so catchy. They're really good dancers, like, obviously. I really like this. I also really like Sorry Mama, maybe I should start trying to get into TKP. Woo! Come on, choreo! Yeah, I don't know anything about them. I wish I did. Wow. That was so good. Okay, so obviously I had already heard the song for that one, so I kind of don't have much to say. I really, really like it. I love the lo-fi hip-hop vibes. I think their rapper has a really good tone, and they're also their vocals are so good. It's so cute and fresh and light. I just really like them as a group, their vocals, and how they sound as a whole was really good. And I was quite surprised by this, because Sorry Mama goes pretty hard, and it's quite a grungy song. So hearing a really cute lo-fi song like this was really nice and refreshing, and made me smile the whole time. I really, really like this song. Music video, I love the colour scheme of this. Like, just the pattern style cute vibes was so satisfied but it wasn't cute cute you know like I wouldn't look at this and go it's a cute MV it still had a very boyish I say it's boyish very boyish they're really cute they have so much character like all of them are just so lovely I like the camo vibes I like it all it's very like it's just a really cute music video you know like I really really enjoyed it they all seem so like cuddly <laughs> and then finally the choreography which obviously I had seen before but this was the first time seeing it on them I love this choreography it really suits the song compliments it a lot it's so cute and jumpy and like oh but also a little bit like you know very boyish had that hip-hop element to it boyish is my key word for this song I just really enjoyed it it was really cute I really I really really liked it what is going on today why are all these songs so good but yeah that was my last video that I was going to be reacting to today I honestly couldn't pick a favorite sometimes there is normally one that like sticks out the most but after this video, I, I genuinely cannot pick a favourite. <laughs> That's really bad! But please tell me in the comments what your favourite one was. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Please do go click the link in the description. <laughs>